And welcome to Summoner's Rift. KT Rolster versus SK Telecom T1. Yeah, Fixer's just gonna come in here and harass a little bit. That's quite annoying. Yeah, looks like the blue buff still is gonna ta get taken by Banky without too much issue. Wow, Fixer in trouble now. Wolf coming in as well. They got the stun on him. Looks like they might be able to force the summoner. Fixer trying to get to the wall. A Little bit more damage will do it. And first blood goes to Marin. Fixer not quite getting close enough to flash over that wall. And even if he had, Bang was all over him. Better to just save the summon summoners. Oh, this is a... It's very interesting, and then not to mention the history throughout many, many games. Oh, of yeah. War. And here oh, we go again. Flash on to Mara, no flash this time, and that's going to be an easy gank for someday. And it seems like SK Telecom really needs to put a priority then on objective control. You know, make KT have to come to them in another fight. Mara drops that equalizer. Bengi coming in for a little bit of top lane revenge, and someday without the flash is going to go down. Bengi has to flash to pick it up. They do get the kill. With all this pressure, though, do you think SKT can maybe make, an, make a dragon attempt coming out of this? Faker's pushing up mid as well, too. But here comes Score. Score trying to make a gank here. Faker gets dropped on by the Chaos Storm. Nice flash in. Gets the kill on the Nogne. So at least trading 1-1. Marin going to teleport down and do some damage to Score as well. Faker, wow, responding so fast to that gank and at least making it a 1v1. Yeah, he one -one. picks up the kill, and that's what Faker's good at, is yep. he... Spend as well Here at this point. Here comes the dive. Yep, they're going to try it. Marin coming in. He has doesn't have equalizer, though. Nagne zoning with that gravity field. Oh, Faker pulls him back in with the shockwave. Nice off from Fixer, but it's not quite enough. Whirlwind comes through. Nagne or Marin right now might be in a bit of trouble. They take out Wolf. Good equalizer that may save Marin. Faker coming in for another command attack. Throws out the command protect to try to keep Marin up to do all that damage with the flame spitter. Faker, can the autos be enough? Not quite. And they tried so hard. Faker not quite able to finish off someday still. And here comes Arrow. Bengi, meanwhile, getting very low in the river as well. And KT turns it around. Arrow grabs that kill. A little bit of an overextension by SK Telecom. They thought Marn could get the damage done, but didn't happen. Wow, what a beautiful team fight from KT, though. Someday playing here. Uh, if we look at it pretty much across the board, it, obviously an age is going to do a lot of work, and here uh -oh. we go. Marin could be in trouble, chilling smite used. He drops that equalizer, but he's taking so much damage. Scoring someday, able to do a lot. Marin trying to get away, and he can he make it? Oh, someday missed the arcane smash, but there it is still, the kill coming in. I believe that was actually Prey Seeker. And we'll see what the state of things are when that happens. Looks like Bang's gonna be able to take this bottom turret. Arrow with not enough health to really go 1v1, and now SKT engaging. There's the teleport coming in from Marin. Fixer pops that ultimate early. Ult used on Fixer, actually. Someday teleporting down as well. SKT grouped up in that tri brush. Bengi goes down. Marin in a lot of trouble as well. And KT turning it around. They've got so much damage coming out of Arrow and the double kill from Nagne. Nice condemn on Bang. Bang flashing over the wall, though. But now Faker in trouble. Shockwave dodged by Someday as he twists advances in. And Faker not quite able to kill. No, he did get the kill. On to Arrow. Now Someday on his own. Bang trying to kite away he's got the double buffs wolf can he slow him down enough not quite and now wolf has to run back under his turret even at low health he can't fight someday like that wow it's so beginning already whether bengi can get that flank it is so important to the outcome of the, these team fights because oh uh -oh. action down in bot lane or middle lane rather fixer in big trouble easy kill there meanwhile marin has to flash away nearly dying to Vayne Rek'Sai, SKT responds by taking this mid lane turret. Man, so much going on. That effectively. Yeah, Bengi's, Bengi's Evelyn has not been a big impact. Oh, Nagne grabbed by that shockwave, but where's the follow-up? Bang trying to get in there someday, once again low, still lacking that armor. Faker trying to chase. Oh, Arrow gets caught! And another kill for SK Telecom. Faker going deep now, gonna pick one up onto Fixer, and Nagne still getting chased, getting burned down by that Ignite. Oh, it's a lot of damage, and Bengi flashes for the kill there. And now SKT finds the opportunities. Dragon warding duty right now. And again, like KT, they're great at kiting, but when you could just pop the Sibirult and kite them out when you're trying to oh, see. Oh, Arrow chasing. Bengi's right there. He's going to drop the ult onto him. Smite as well, but no follow up. Now Bengi in trouble. Wow, Arrow able to get a lot of damage in with those auto attacks. SKT on the run. This dragon is, okay. might as well be KT. Someday teleporting in, gonna jump right onto Bangi. Bang, able to respond with a lot of damage. Bangi still alive because of that command protect. Here comes Marin, the great equalizer comes down. Someday separated from the rest of his team. Shockwave pulls in Nagne again. Arrow pops that heal, stays alive, and Fixer able to get a nice health, bringing back the health of some of those members of KT. Arrow slowly trying to escape. 
that Faker, oh, Wolf manages to grab him, and there's a nice pick on to Arrow from SK Telecom. Somehow, someway, SKT turning that fight around. Bengi lived because of the command protect from Faker. Now, you had to go for that fight if you're KT. That's the way you're going to get back into the game. You had such an advantage. You knew Morin wasn't at full HP. They tried to set up a pick. Do a little bit of damage to Fixers. Several use. Wow, they're going to go in. Shockwave brings oh an arrow, my. blows him up. What a play from Faker. Someday gets in the back lines, but again, when it's only someday, that tanky Maokai is not a threat. A double kill for Faker, and they can. Oh, Several activated. They think they may have a pick on to someday here. Bengi there as well. Get the slow with the ultimate someday. Pops that Righteous Glory, getting very low though. Gets taken out despite Fixer's ultimate. They take the turn as well. Nice dredge line from Wolf to grab Fixer. He's gonna get taken down by Faker and with two people out of the way, SKT should be free and clear for another Baron. Well, Bengi needs to be careful, getting really chunked down by that Chaos Storm. This Baron very quickly as well. There it goes, KT getting a little bit too close there. They might pay for a nice dredge line on to Arrow gets taken out by Bang and the rest of SK Telecom someday again, separated from his team. Faker gets exhausted. That's not really going to do a whole lot. Score goes down, Marin claims a kill, and Faker manages to catch Fixer with that shockwave. Why not burn it right there? Nothing else to really use it on as you get four kills already, and with only someday remaining, SKT looking to close this one out. Well, someday did his best this he game. Uh, he started out 4-1-5 and five on this Maokai, being an absolute force early, but SKT is just a team that can punish you so hard. How did they win this game? It was because KT slightly overcommitted to that turret, and yep. then from there, Baron, no more chance of them getting back in. It's getting a little bit, a tiny bit overeager in the mid lane, and that is all SK Telecom needed to snowball a quick victory here in game number one. GG. It's crazy to me how... Here we go again. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. KT Rolster versus SK Telecom. Quite powerful, and with scores showing in mid, that does give Bengi even more of an opportunity just to hunt down. They're gonna dive oh, wow. someday. Yeah, dive on the someday, someday with no way to really get out. And Marin, oh, barely makes it. First oh. blood going to Bengi. <laughs> that was very close, but SKT. Here we oh, go. Dive onto edge. Score is right there, though. I don't know if this is going to work out. Oh, Bengi. Bengi in big trouble. Faker trying to do some damage. Bengi gets taken out by edge. Oh, Faker kipped, kicked into the rafter bit. He's going to alpha strike right back over. And pop the ignite. Faker with the kill onto edge. Teleport coming down. Marin protecting him and someday cancels that TP. Obviously, having him against someday right now would be great but not gonna happen. Oh, Edge going in on Faker, that's yelled from Bengi as well. Teleport coming in for KT, though. Faker gets caught with a fish. Oh, nice dredge line. Faker trying to go, oh, score kicked him out. Alto comes in and Edge has just enough burn to finish him off. Nice double. double. kill for that, and now he's gonna get nearly a triple arrow picking that one up, though. And they'll get the mid lane turret. Nice fight by KT. Now they had the TP advantage and they used it so, so well there. Fixer just landing the CC. Equalizer has to uh -oh. go down to prevent the loss of a turret, but Marin. Marin gave away his position though. Yeah, he's going to be able to get out. So they can't take a two towers right there. Very crucial. I'm not sure this Master is going to work this game, Doha. I mean. KT is a great team, and they certainly can outplay on nearly any composition, but this is a really difficult situation. Oh, Edge going in, a lot of KT members right there. Faker pops that Alpha Strike to try to get out of the fish. He backs away with the Highlander. Bang gets grabbed by the dredge line, able to do a lot of damage though. And SKT, Faker looking for those resets. Equalizer slowing people down, and here we go. Bang picks up the kill. Marin doing a lot of damage to the Flame Spitter. And now Faker comes in with the Alpha Strike. There's one, but the kill goes to Bang. Triple kill for him. Arrow getting very, very low. Quadra kill for Bang. But Edge way too far away. <laughs> They're looking for him, but no, no penta kill for Bang here. So when I think that getting someday ahead would have been more effective in terms of being able to close. Here oh, we go. Several, but Wolf just pops a whirlwind, and that's really all he needs to do. Uh -oh. oh boy, uh -oh. here we go. Score gets caught. Nice ult from Bengi. Faker gets kicked away. He's just gonna walk right back in though. Highlander makes you pretty fast. Exhaust onto Arrow as Bang starts to do damage down to Fizz. Edge actually got taken out. Now Faker getting those resets. There goes Arrow. Oh, and Faker's no. chasing score down. Double kill meanwhile for Marin Alpha Strike. There goes score. Faker. 
A lot of kills there, and now they think they can go probably right onto Baron after Someday gets taken down by Marin. Marin just chasing him. Flash still available for Someday. Not even going to bother to use it, though. Nice knockup by Wolf, slowing him down, and Harpoon <laughs> over the wall. Wow. Ace. Wolf just there with the tornado on the other side. It's so binary and predictable. Oh, here we go. Whoa, look at that equalizer. Goodbye, Arrow. Marin picks up a first kill. Edge, chilling smite onto him. Benki chasing him down. Wolf helps pick up a kill as KT is down two inhibitors, possibly three pretty soon as a Baron buff SK Telecom comes in. Equalizer drop. Benki gets a great alt as well, too. Alt on the bank from Nautilus. Edge comes in to try to find a kill. Zonia's. He's going to go down immediately after that ends. Meanwhile, Faker grabs a double kill as well. Edge does go down. Fixer trying to get away. Gets roasted. There's a reset. Arrow still alive. Triple kill for Faker on that Master Yi. And that is it. Oh, Faker goes in. Picks up the kill for the Quadra. <laughs> and on that note, Faker dies. Gets the Quadra kill. And SK Telecom gets a 2-0 over KT. GG. Unbelievable. <laughs> really. Entertaining, but unbelievable.